Often it has been three and a half years since a speeding Mercedes ran down two young brothers in a crosswalk in Westlake Village. Tonight, after years of delays, the verdict is in. Socialite Rebecca Grossman guilty of murder in the deaths of 11 year old Mark Iskander and his eight year old brother Jacob Grossman, the wife of a prominent Los Angeles burn doctor, was convicted on all counts, including second degree murder, gross vehicular manslaughter and hit and run. She will will likely spend decades behind bars. For Mark and Jacob's parents, the verdicts mean justice and accountability for the callous taking of their son's lives. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade was at the courthouse when the verdicts came down. She joins us live with the emotional reaction. Mary Beth. Yeah, Mike and Jerry really was just a very emotional day on all counts here at the courthouse today. And after these guilty verdicts were read, well, Grossman was cuffed and then immediately taken into custody. Now, as for the boy's mother, well, she stood and she smiled at the jury and thanked all of them for their service. And she tells us that she and her family can now finally let the healing process begin. My family, we've been waiting for this for three and a half years now. We've been waiting to, for, to trust the justice system. Um, so today we're just giving glory to God. Nancy Iskander expressed her gratitude that socialite Rebecca Grossman was finally found guilty of murdering her two sons and thanked the prosecutors and the jury for all their hard work. We have a justice system you can trust from our experience. It's not a justice system where people get away with things based on their color of their skin or their wealth. Grossman, the co-founder of the Grossman Burn Foundation, killed 11-year-old Mark and 8-year-old Jacob during a hit-and-run crash in Westlake Village back in September of 2020. Prosecutors say she was speeding and impaired. Every day in court here felt like I'm attending the funeral of the boys again. After several weeks of testimony, it took jurors only about nine hours to come back with the verdict. We have been waiting for Ms. Grossman to apologize, to take responsibility, and uh, she, she, she just chose to fight it to the end. Grossman gave no reaction when the verdict was read. However, her teenage daughter shrieked and her teenage son trembled. The two clung to their father, Peter Grossman, while leaving the Van Nuys courthouse. Do you guys have any reaction to the verdict? The defense had tried to blame Grossman's boyfriend at the time, former pitcher Scott Erickson, saying it was his SUV that hit the boys as the two left a local restaurant in separate cars. I'm amazed and glad that despite all their tricks, they couldn't trick our system or the jewel. You know, finally can move on. And for each of those second degree murder charges, well, they each carry 15 years to life behind bars. As for the hit and run resulting in death, that carries a minimum of two years. Now, when speaking with prosecutors after court today, I was asking, well, just how long will she serve behind bars? And he says that it just depends on whether the judge has her serve those murder charges concurrently. Her sentencing now is scheduled for April 10th. For now, reporting live here in Van Nuys, Mary Beth McDade, We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you.